Embraer's Legacy 450 is set to arrive here at Geneva International Airport, and AIN will get a first-hand look at its brand new interior. One of the more compelling features of the Legacy 450 and its slightly larger sibling, the Legacy 500, is that they have the ability to land in very challenging airports such as London City and La Mole in Saint-Tropez. We just landed there and obtained the certification for La Mole. Uh, we just landed the other day in the, uh, with the 500 in London City. So we designed the airplane very capable in terms of short performance or short runway performance or good performance and you are very pleased with the achievements so far. So I think the airplane is very capable, good performance, good range, good speed. It's a, a, a state-of-the-art machine with the fly-by-wire delivers something that you don't find out in the 17, 20 million dollars uh, segment. So uh, it's a perfect machine for the US, for Europe, for other countries. It's a eight seats configuration, double diverse, six seats, very comfortable stand-up camera that you can see. 19 monitors configuration with Wi-Fi, all features that a brand new airplane in state of the art can bring. We have close to 40 airplanes in service now uh, with a high level of dispatch reliability or availability. They are very pleased. We are supporting and you have airplanes in all the regions now. And the, the feedback has been very positive. And as I said, it's a combination of performance, technology with the fly by that reduces pilot workload, improves the cabin comfort, good performance, good range, good speed, and the stand-up cabin. It was the first stand-up cabin in the mid-size and the mid-light classes. By comparison with the rival Gulfstream G450, the Embraers are slightly slower and have less range at around 3,000 nautical miles with four passengers versus 4,000 nautical miles with eight passengers. But for their price point, the midsize legacies offer a generously sized cabin.